Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Uh, today we're doing The Flash Season 4, Episode 15 called Enter Flash Time. So we start off with a distraught Barry and Flash Time talking to Iris and like, we can't save anyone or I failed and all this type of stuff. So um, then we go back to 8 minutes and 50 seconds ago. <laughs> Uh, to where, um, basically, Barry and Cisco are training, and he's trying to get in, uh, to Cisco's breaches in time, but he keeps missing it by just that much. So Cisco and them take a break, then Iris tells Barry just to calm down, take a breather, and suggest date night, and so he agrees. Then we go to Wells on some them to the, um to the lab, and so basically Cisco uh, tried down to those uh, locations for the past three years by using um, intri intricate <laughs> algorithms and it's just plot points of where he's been popping up all over town from his pocket dimension. Then uh, we find out that R Ralph has moved into Star Labs, and then uh, Jesse is that. She just pops in and scared her, everyone to death. And then I uh, talks to Wells and wants him to deal with his wife's death. And then we cut to Wells getting hella mad about it. And it's like, don't discuss this with me ever again. And like, he's literally like banging the freaking table like a madman. And so um, then we cut to there's a shootout downtown and this hangar. And so um, basically, um, Joe calls call them for backup. So um, the team goes there, and they bust uh, the people bust up in the container, and the girl detonates the bomb. And then Barry tells Jesse to get Garrick because um, the bomb's already gone off before they can do anything. So only he and uh, Jesse can talk in flash time. So he tells them to go get Garrick, and then he pops back with him. But first, Barry grabs Cisco and uh, talks to him and says they can't undo the, um, they can't undo the, what just happened. And thinks about they can maybe breach it out, but he can't do it because they're moving too fast to do that. And then Cisco starts to give out, so Barry refreezes him. So then he runs to Star Labs and talks to Wells, and Wells is just being... All kinds of irrational. I mean, all kinds of irrational. Like, he's talking, so what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? He couldn't shut up for like 10 seconds so Barry can explain stuff. And uh, then basically, he finally spits out on just send it to the Speed Force. It should be okay. We don't know. Mm. <laughs> so then uh, Garrick shows up, and then um, if they had to refreeze Wells because, you know, if they stay outside of the, um, if they're in the speed force for too long, they start to, uh, get sick and deteriorate and stuff. So, anyway, uh, Garrick, uh, says no to that plan about throwing a speed force, and they say if they did that, they might lose their speed, and he'll stop them if necessary, then Barry starts freaking out and yells at Garrick, but later apologizes when he calms down a little bit. Then Garrett suggests uh, cooling it down and to use uh, Killer Frost, but it's a no go. So um, she starts to pass out too. So he refuses, refreezes her in time. And then um, the, before they do that, he, uh, she says, "Don't let Katie die." Then Jesse uh, suggests throwing lightning bolts at it, so they do it, but Jay falters, and he turns out he can't stay in flash time for too long because he's getting too old to do on that, so he freezes as well. And then so Jesse, so Je it's just Jesse and Barry, and she suggests to go back in time. Barry shuts that down, and then the bomb is getting worse. That means they are starting to speed up. Um, well, time's starting to speed up for them, so they're losing momentum. So Barry um, tells her just to go to Earth 2, so she leaves, and she goes to, to Wells. And she wants, she basically can't really talk to him because 
he's already been in Flash time and stuff, so she basically just says to him, just basically talking to him blank, saying, like, I just want you to be happy. That's all I ever wanted for you. Which is actually a, a little touching moment. And then, uh, then Jesse freezes, because she's ran out of steam as well. Then Barry's getting really drained, so he does one last talk to Iris. And then Barry breaks down with her. Then Iris says, why don't you just use the speed force and use the um, lightning from that. And use the quark spear with his genetic markers. So he goes to go get it. And it's beautiful as I don't know what whoever was in charge of the CGI. You need a raise because that was beautiful stuff. That's all. All the colors, all the different colors of lightning and how he got into the C-Force and got the genetic uh, quark sphere was so beautifully done. I was in awe. And then how they he ran in slow motion and back to where he was, um, where the device was, and did all that stuff was beautiful. I love that scene. It was great. So he does it. And then we cut to real time. And then we see Veronica Dale's video that she was going to publish after she set off the bomb. And then uh, we see that, um, then we cut to where Jay is going back home. And he's retiring, and he's training someone, and then it's a girl, but we don't say, they don't say who it is. He says, I'm training her. So we don't know who that is. So I'm very intrigued on what that it's going to be because I know that's going to pop up later. I know it is. And so um, they um, then they order Barry to rest and then um, Garrett, uh, Jay leaves. Then Jesse talks to Wells and basically Wells uses the device as um, that he gave to Cecilia to get, to dampen her um, her uh, reading minds, but this one amplifies it and connects to Wells' um, um, device that he has, so he can basically share his memories of his wife with Jesse as kind of talking about it. So Jesse agrees to it. And it's like an emotional moment, and this is definitely one of the best moments, I think, between Jesse and Wells. I actually got really tear eyed during that. Didn't feel on cry, but I was getting really teary-eyed. I really loved that episode. It was great. Uh, the, that part. That episode was great, too. Anyway. Then we cut to where Caitlin and Wells talk at Jitters. And she's concerned about Killer Frost and her house. And, like, usually with her, she uh, with Caitlin, she doesn't know what Killer Frost does or anything. Doesn't know anything that she did or any of her thoughts. But she actually remembered everything that happened with the bomb situation and sent, telling her to save Katie. And then they get interrupted by the babbling girl. We still don't know her name or anything, but she is babbling like a crazy girl. Like, I just was just so nervous. And got to drink coffee and then got the jitters. Isn't that funny where we are at? It's just, it's really funny. It's really endearing. But I was like, oh my God. So with made another Felicity. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then um, she just talks about meeting people and um, Kayla says, well, good luck with that as um, her and Harrison leave. And she's good. And she says to herself, it did. <laughs> so um, that's the end of the episode. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen next week. And I'll give this episode a plus. I love the imagery in this episode and the use of all the bright colors and so such for that um, speed force scene. I really enjoyed that. And all the speedsters together, that was super cool as well. And how they all interact with one another. And the emotional one between Jesse and Wells is definitely a highlight for me. I thoroughly enjoyed that scene. Um, I, it was just a really, really good episode. So, um, I really enjoyed it. I'm excited for the uh, next, what is it, nine episodes, I think. Or eight. I can't count. <laughs> I think it's eight. Yeah. So anyway, um, I think that's what I'm do for this video. So if you like this video, please give it a like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree or disagree? And also, let me know in the comment section down below, shall I stop using thumbnails and just use my actual like, picture? Because I still like 
to show like in the thumbnail like um different episodes deals and stuff or just logos so i don't really post my picture so anyway um if you want me to do that or if you want to keep doing what i'm doing just let me know down below and tell me what you think and if you also want to suggest other music tv shows or movies just let me know down below and if you actually made this far you are so awesome and i'll see you on the next video bye everybody